the world, but always start at home is what I know. But I thought about that. That didn't mean that I couldn't do anything. So of course, I wrote a poem. And this poem, actually, Doug Koyama put it to music. And if you go to his band camp site, you can purchase the song that be this poem became, and all of the proceeds will go to Standing Rock. So this is called Time to Stand Up. I stand with Standing Rock because it's not just about the fact that they probably wouldn't attempt to, to dig up the graveyard in my suburban neighborhood. It's not just about the fact that laws have been made and upheld to prevent anyone from poisoning the Prince George watershed any more than the regular amount of poison permitted for any other Canadian city. It's not just about the fact that any one of you would be outraged if someone sprayed mace in the face of your defenseless grandmother. And it's not just about who really owns the land, who really has the rights to be there. Although, reviewing the Treaty of 1851 should clear that up for you, if you still have any questions. It is about all of that, and that should be enough to make you angry. So you should stand with Standing Rock. But it's also about the fact that no one should be able to light their tap water on fire, or have to watch the hair fall off of their livestock or pets in patches. It's about the fact that arsenic shouldn't be an ingredient in anything we drink, and any amount of methane in the atmosphere should be considered somewhat abnormal. It's about the fact that public land shouldn't be destroyed for private gain, and that if land ownership is going to be a thing, it should mean something, no matter where you come from. And even though it doesn't seem like it's happening in your backyard, the river systems that we all drink from are as interconnected as we humans are supposed to be, to each other and every other living thing. So the whole world is our backyard, and together we face the blowback of adjusting this fracking flowback of produced water, no matter where it comes from. And that should make us all angry. So we should stand with Standing Rock. Because it's ultimately about the fact that class lines that were meant to have been erased now cut deeper than ever across North America and the rest of the world. Even though indigenous is often synonymous with lowest on the socioeconomic totem pole, the families that got flushed in the Garfield County gas rush and the people who were dicked over in Dimmick were largely of Caucasian descent. Big oil doesn't see color, and poverty is really a rainbow problem. The only real cure for it is to stop buying in to the ideologies that come with their petroleum-based products and byproducts that we purchase in, hope of, in hopes of producing some satisfaction in ourselves. Dakota Access, Kinder Morgan, and Canna, Keystone Excel, Halibridge, and Halliburton, Enbridge, etc. No matter what name you know them by, they have us all over their barrel because everyone seems to believe that we need to consume constantly to be truly happy, and that these companies have some kind of monopoly on the production of energy that we need to maintain consistency in the rate of our consumption capacity. And everyone needs to wake up, come together to make up a real system shakeup. So everyone should stand with Standing Rock. Because it's ultimately about the fact that Roosevelt fracked us all in 1945 when he spent his Valentine's Day wooing Saudi Arabia into a bad relationship. Slobodo, Ufulu, Libero, Tipia Masoan, Freedom, no matter what language you say it in, it doesn't sound like oil to me. In the words of Immortal Technique, we are all caught in a hustle, led by Dick Cheney's Energy Task Force, who spend hundreds of billions of dollars per year on oil-related defense overseas, and now that they've dried up those possibilities, the war on terror is coming home. And being applied to any situation where someone opposes the will of the corporation, and oil companies control the politicians that control our nations, and silence the scientists who worry about the health of future generations, and ignore the fact that it's also a bad long-term economic equation. And it's clear there is only one solution in light of all this scary information, and that is to stand up, stand up, and stand with Standing Rock.